But first, our top story here at 6 o'clock, a major fire downtown, the Tulsa Club building, burned again early this morning. It is the fourth time this year that firefighters have battled flames in the empty building. This was the biggest fire so far. News on 6 reporter Emery Bryan joins us live with an update on the story. Emery? Well, Scott, the uh, last time this building caught fire was back in April. Someone broke in and started it, and that's what the fire department believes happened this time. The fire had spread throughout the top floor of the building when firefighters arrived on the scene. What looked like another fire on the lower floors was actually an old sofa on a terrace. Falling debris set it on fire. The Tulsa Fire Department used their tallest equipment to spray water inside during a rare three-alarm call-out that had more than 50 firefighters at the scene. Two men were hurt, one for smoke inhalation and another with an injured ankle. Both were taken by ambulance, but their injuries were not serious. After daylight, the investigation into the cause started. For the fire department, the Tulsa Club is both a frequent and hazardous place to work. There's a lot of tricks and turns in here, you know, open elevator shafts, holes in floors, which makes it a pretty dangerous uh, job, especially at night when you can't see. The cleanup around the building was wrapping up while a military funeral was happening at a church across the street. Four square blocks of downtown streets were blocked off until noon. The city of Tulsa started work once again on boarding up windows and covering access points and will bill the owner for the work. The city already has $385,000 in judgments against the building and hopes a planned sale will both settle the fine and clean up the property. It's been a challenge, uh, so, but we're, you know, we're still trying to work with the property owner. The fire department did not find any structural damage from the latest fire, which is believed to have been caused by someone who crawled in from an upper floor fire escape. And the city has taken additional steps to secure that fire escape. They've wrapped chain link fencing around it. It's over on the other side of the building, hoping to keep uh, people out. The building has sold for $1.1 million. And if that sale goes through, the city has a lien on the building, so they'll be the first ones paid. Emory Bryant, the News on 6.